Mike Bertot, a very dear friend of Travis Alexander, overheard Travis arguing with Arius on the telephone. Mike, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Mike, I, I'm kind of knocked out by Travis explaining to you how he was so distressed when Arius decided to move back to Mesa, that he did not want her to move back. He told her not to move back. She moved back anyway. She would actually get into his home by coming through the doggy door. Yeah, there were lots of stories about times when she was sneaking around his house, you know, and even sneaking into it, and uh, he would find her there, you know, late at night. Um, you know, I heard one person talk about a story that he relayed to them of she, her, she was vacuuming his house in the middle of the night. So just really, really creepy behavior all the way around. You spent three or four hours with him in a truck uh, in August. And during that time, he and Arius were going at it on the phone and on text. What were they arguing about? Um, Travis was just arguing with her, and she was arguing back about her moving to Mesa after they had broken up. Uh, it was the first time that I had actually learned about this. And, uh, yeah, we were in the truck for a few hours, and it was text messages and phone calls. And a lot of what I heard, you know, on, on Travis's end was just, you know, why did you move there? We're not together. We're not going to be together anymore. You have no reason to be there. That You know, there's no other reason for you to have moved to Mesa but for me. So stop making those excuses and, you know, just tell me why you did it. And it, it went on that way you know, for Mike, uh, hours. You know, Mike, one of the photos that you showed us you met up with Travis at one of the conventions, and you thought, as you said, it was an Arius free weekend. Liz, do you have that shot? And then you look at photos taken of you with, Ar with him or just him, and suddenly there's Arius kind of like smiling at the camera in the background. And only then did you realize she was there. Yeah. Um when we showed up that weekend, I actually had lunch with Travis and Jody uh, the day before that picture was taken. And for the first time in a long time, it seemed like they were, in fact, just friends. And, you know, it wasn't the, the normal Jody that we've seen around Travis before.